one of the one of the meetings that I also attended was on they talked about um, developing your community and it was all about not going out after people so much as making your place a desirable place where people want to come. Making sure, having somebody else from outside come in and drive around and say this is a desirable community. I hate to even bring this up, but driving around town, the economy is beginning to show. And I think we need to work together. I don't care if we all get buckets of paint and go and do it the most economical way, but we need to take a really good hard look at our community because it's starting to look pretty tough. And in line with that, Barb, I agree. It I would is. like to sit down with P&D and let's see if we can get a plan put together here so we can start doing some of these things. We have And that to. way we're both on the same page because I think that needs to be done. So we don't have this, you know, so everybody's kind of, you know, Absolutely. here instead of okay. And we have a lot of young folks that have jumped in on a lot of projects that if we could figure out a way, maybe there's a building that just needs some paint or some whatever, if we called in the 4-H and some of those groups and we work together, maybe there's some grants that we can get. We need to keep our minds open to making our community look better because it is looking sad. But along that same you know, thought, uh, you know, Iowa State University did a uh, planning, uh, is that? Yeah, that's, that's what the that's Forever Planning. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Maura, you might elaborate on that. I, I thought that was an excellent, you know, plan to be in place, and certainly mm -hmm. we might use that as a springboard to, to go from there. Well, I guess my idea was, you know, when we're talking about long-term planning, that, you know, in order to do something like a large project like a streetscape, I know there's been several business people that have expressed some concerns about the sidewalks downtown and that kind of thing. That maybe we figure out what a plan could be for maybe a five-year plan to try to get it completed. You know, maybe in the first year we just agree to hire an engineer that tells us what it would take to do a streetscape plan and give some estimates on exactly how much money we're even looking at and what are our options as far as, you know, any um, storm sewer maintenance that we can do throughout the downtown, you know, any infrastructure needs of any thing that needs to be replaced underneath those sidewalks while we're there, you know, while you've got stuff tore up, what part of the city infrastructure needs to be replaced while we're there, you know, but, so we go at it in an, an educated fashion and we have a plan. 